If you're looking to get a new power strip, Xsense has you covered. It has eight outlets and two smart USB ports. You can charge up to 10 devices at a time, and it comes with surge, lightning, and overload protection so all your devices and your house stay safe. Check the link down below in the description. All right, guys, now here's a $10 Amazon gift card code. Whoever redeems it first gets it. Now, I decided to do this, but every time I make a sponsored post, I will hold a small little giveaway for you guys. I thought it'd be a little bit of fun. So yeah, congrats to whoever claimed it first. Let me know down below in the comments if you got it. What's up guys? The Hackspot here. And you guys know that all the way from the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7, all the way up to the iPhone 10s and 10s Max is the iPhone 10s, but these phones are water resistant. I was so close to saying waterproof, but they're not. Now, many of us still do pretend that these phones are waterproof, and for the most part, they do hold up pretty well. Everything Apple Pro action videos where he put the iPhone 10 like 30 feet underwater for a good amount of time, and the iPhone still survived. It's really pretty incredible what these phones are capable of, even though Apple claims that they are just water resistant and not waterproof. Now me personally, and I know you guys have done this too, where you just really, really believe that this phone is waterproof. So I personally have taken this phone in the pool and a few times, yes, I've also been guilty of taking it in the shower. I just wanted to make sure I don't miss this text or important email. I guess I also like to play a ball blast in the shower if you guys have tried this game, not a sponsor. So much fun, play in airplane mode because there are so many advertisements. But yeah, back to the point of this video, there have been times where my phone doesn't really have a crack in it, but there are like little microscopic like scratches and stuff like that. So it basically ends up wrecking my phone. I did have to get my phone replaced twice because once water got in there, it messed with Face ID and Face ID completely stopped working. It said the module is like broken. So yeah, this phone again is not waterproof it's water resistant and the water killed my phone now in other scenarios you guys know that if you put your phone in water and it really gets in there it takes time for it to come out and it usually comes out through the speakers where when you like play any music or something or any type of audio it just kind of disperses out of the speaker but this takes time the speakers sound like super muffled even like the headset speaker you just can't hear as well as you were able to when you didn't put it in water. When I have like took it out of water and someone calls me, they also do complain that they cannot understand anything that I am saying. Yeah, let me just wait for this iPhone to completely dry out before I use it for calling again. All right, so apparently there is a trick to get the water out of your phone a lot quicker. And this is a really cool app. It's also just a lot of fun to play with. So let's go take a look. All right, so again, we're going to be testing out this app that is supposed to disperse of the water or eject it super quick and out of your phone in literally seconds. So you will no longer have a muffled speaker. You, your microphone will work again properly. People won't complain about that anymore. So anyways, I have my iPhone 10 over here. It has no cracks and I don't think it really has any scratches on it too. So it should be pretty good. Of course, if your phone is cracked, don't submerge it in water because the water could get through those cracks pretty easily and it will definitely wreck your phone. You'll have to go to the Apple store and get your phone replaced for the most part. Something will stop working. But yeah, let's go and try this out. The app that I'm be showing you guys is called Sonic. I'll put a link down below in the description so you guys go ahead and download it from there. It's completely free. And it's just so much fun to play around with too. All right, now before we start, let's go and take a look at the reviews over here. So it has some pretty good reviews. This guy said, I rarely ever rate apps, but I had jumped into the shower with my iPhone 7 Plus since it's advertised as water resistant. The speaker became super mumbled. He tried putting it in rice. In less than two minutes of me switching frequencies from high to low, I decided to listen to the same song I had tried to listen to prior to using the app in the shower and it sounded like nothing had happened so it was back to normal. So anyways, there are many more. Let's go and see all and these are some pretty recent ones. Oh, that's a year ago. But anyways, there are so many more good reviews. Saved my phone, a fixing miracle, lifesaver. Okay, that one's negative but let's go and check by most recent. So let's see if this app, like something changed, something like that. I never write reviews but I got a new iPhone XR and dropped it into the water. It seemed fine but the speakers were muffled. So again, this one fixed it. 
and there are so many more reviews. Take a look at that, guys. So, wow, thanks for saving my phone speaker. So basically, if your phone ever sounds muffled after bringing out the water and it still sounds muffled for quite some time, use this app. It will save your phone and your speakers will sound good again. Make your speakers sound great again, okay? So there it is over here on my home screen. Let's go and open it up. And this is actually pretty cool to play around with too. So it plays a sound based on Hertz. And the lower the frequency, the easier it is to be heard because it's like a deeper tone. But the higher you go, the higher frequency it will be. And so you can use this to test out people's hearing. So the higher frequency that you guys could hear or any other person could hear, the better your hearing is or their hearing is. So sometimes you could be playing this in front of someone and you could hear it perfectly fine if you have good hearing, but they can't hear it. It's pretty cool. So anyways, if I go ahead and hit play, you guys can see the frequency right now is 440 hertz. If I go down, So I'm going up now. Oh, okay. So this you can definitely hear. It's super high pitched, but eventually when you keep going, oh my God, ow. Okay, now over here, I cannot hear anymore. I don't know if my ears are bad, but let me know if you guys could still hear at 16,970. So try this app for yourself, guys. And let me know down in the comments the highest frequency that you guys could hear. But yeah, so basically the way this works is it will use the different frequencies and push or eject the water out of the speakers. So let's go ahead and use this. I'm going to hit stop. And let's go ahead and put this iPhone and submerge it in water for some time. All right, it's going in. All right, so I'm gonna leave it in there for some time. And right now the time is, dang, yeah, I'm getting my desk wet. Okay, already my screen's kind of messing up. The lock button was taking forever. All right, so the time is 7.12. Put it back in. And I'll be back in a little. All right, so it's been some time. Let's go ahead and take the iPhone out of the water. Ooh, all right. I filled this up way too much, but all right, let's see how it works so far. So I'm gonna dry it off real quick. All right, so here we are and Okay, so, whoa, okay. Apps are kind of glitching out, you guys can see right there, uh, but I think it's working perfectly. Let's go ahead and, hold on, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and lock it. Let's go ahead and unlock to see Face ID. Yep, Face ID is working, but let's go ahead and test out the speakers. So, if I go over here, um, by the way, my storage is full, which is why the camera app won't open. Let's play a copyright free song, that would be nice, so, all right. And it definitely does sound muffled. Let me put it right next to the microphone to show you guys. All right, that sounds terrible, but it sounds so bad. Oh, look at this. It's like foaming out from there. All right, so there it is. As you can see, it does take time. So that looks kind of gross. It looks like spit. But anyways, let's go and use the app and let's see how well it works. So I'm gonna use the app now. So let's go and open it up and play. Let's go and turn up the frequency. Okay, so I think it sounds pretty good now. Let's go and try out the music again. Okay, it does sound better. But definitely does not sound up to its full capacity. So it's gonna go back to this. Maybe if I, cause a lot of sounds coming, doesn't even sound even coming out there. It's gonna go to the highest frequency real quick. All right. Oh, yep, I could definitely feel water coming out. All right, let's go and try the music again. Okay, that sounds a lot better. All right, just for comparison, here's an iPhone that does not have the water in it. So let's go back over here, play the same song. Okay, that definitely sounds better. Yeah, that sounds better. Maybe this phone dried out now. Let's go and try it again. So. Oh, it almost sounds up to par. 
It's getting there. <laughs>